Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandy and today we are going to be talking about Kingdom Legendary War Episode 5. So because Episode 6 is kind of like a track day, kind of like a, um, you know, just a relaxed day where all the teams are just going to be, you know, having fun. I think I'm going to combine Episode 6 and 7 into one video um, and also because I am late, I know I'm late, but you know, it's okay. I'm still gonna do the video anyways. But yeah, excited to share with you guys what I thought about episode five. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, like always, I have my handy dandy notes. And with episode five, we are just going to jump right into ATZ's performance. All right, so like I thought, <laughs> I really thought that um, they were just going to go like straight into the performance um, instead of giving us like the backstory of how ATZ um, chose their song and all these things. But sneaky editing, y'all editors. <laughs> um, they showed us a little bit like the beginning of when they were like in the car and then like when. Uh, just like the first like a minute of their performance um, But nope, you know went back to the original I guess the original storyline so Now they are at the scene of ATs choosing the song and the members talk about how much they admire icon and and then like when they were in school um, they got to like kind of cover icon and then um, we get to see a baby San at Icon's um, concert. And then we got to see a little clip of Songhua performing Rhythm Ta. Um, and I also love how they want wanted Icon and them to have like a win-win situation where they both um, place like first or second. Um, because like Jay also said that they were they want he wanted that too. So, great minds think alike. So, yeah. I also love how Hong Jong mentioned that they were competing with the people that led them to Kingdom. I just thought that, like, you know, that was, like, so amazing to think about. Like, it just tells you that they worked so hard for this. And all the teams on Kingdom definitely deserve to be on the Kingdom stage. Like, I just loved like how everything was like 360 came back around so yeah all right so we get to know what song they chose and they chose of course rhythm ta and i'll be honest like i was not into rhythm ta um when it came out i was more into my type um though so i i listened more to my type than rhythm ta but like i think i got like more used to rhythm top because a lot of people listen to it and so like when it comes on um of course i do a, a little dance and i know the dance like you know the but um yeah like i just got used to the song because you know it, it's one of those songs where you have to keep listening to it in order to like it so that is how i feel about rhythm top i didn't like it you know at first um but then like it grew on me so yeah so I was very curious to see what ATs would do with Rhythm Top. Um, and then also I love how they kept their pirate theme at the end of the performance. Um, because they were kind of trying to stay true to themselves. So um, everybody, um, even like Icon was kind of wondering like, oh, are they going to keep their pirate theme? And I just, I love the little like prequel that they put in the whole performance like at the end with the hourglass but yeah so again i said that i love the little clips of them having fun in the laser tag arena <laughs> and then i also love the roland reference um when um they were practicing oh, jung ho and then, um yeah like we get right into their performance and Y'all, y'all, ATs did not disappoint. Like, ATs does not disappoint. Like, the energy 
of this song from start to finish was on point. Um, they definitely made it into like an EDM, like hard hip hop style, if you get what I'm saying. And like, I loved it. Um, I think the dance breaks were amazing. And Hong Jung was in his element as always, um, working that stage and giving us rap. And can um, can we just talk about Jung Ho, y'all? Like, Jung Ho made me speechless with all of his notes that he was hitting. Um, like, oh my goodness, it was it was so good. Like Jung Ho, we know Jung Ho can sing, but man, those notes that he was hitting in this, it was. Mwah, so good, so good. Um, yeah, the whole stage worked perfectly together, and the props, like the blimp, and even the at the end, the hourglass again, genius, so genius. Like they wanted to make it bigger, and you know they wanted to prove that you know they were still you know they got first place, and they still want to be up there with the like team. Well, I mean with the whole like crew they still want to be top two they they really made a show like yep they want first place and they're gonna tr keep first place so yeah and my favorite part though y'all might be a surprise because everything was so theatrical and y'all gonna be like what yeah this is your favorite part heck yeah it's my favorite part so yeah my favorite part was when san hit um hit us with like a little run like kind of at the beginning of the song um when he sang um like the i just want to make you groove my goodness like it was so good i just oh his voice right there was so sweet it was like butter it was like butter mm. <laughs> and then of course san is my bias so i kind of died right there <laughs> um, but I, it was so fast and so freaking good that I loved it like I wish that he was able to sing a little bit more but you know still it was a great moment but overall ATs again killed it and it did not disappoint you know overall just great job ATs y'all did amazing all right next we have B2B and can I just say I love B2B's group dynamic so much like i love watching them as a group because they are so funny and they make a lot of jokes but um they can like also be so serious when it comes to choosing like a song too so like i just love their group dynamic i think it's it's just so fun and you know you can tell that they are the samba memes they are the senior group and you know they're kind of more relaxed but also like they, they know how to have fun and you know love it so yeah um i just love them and like also a special shout out to Ung Kwang for trying his best to <laughs> to write the word slump <laughs> um because like when they were choosing songs like they were naming like all the uh stray kids song that they might do and <laughs> they were like slump and then he was like slump like he like literally just wrote in um in hangul it's so funny Ung Kwang, you 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 got it you got it <laughs> but yeah b2b ended up choosing backdoor and when i did my reaction to backdoor i just remember that i couldn't stop dancing because of the beat like it's such a catchy song and of course um i was also curious to see what b2b was gonna do with it because you know b2b are the vocal kings so like back door like hmm like it's a catchy song it's a b it's not very like vocal um heavy so i was like mm, i'm excited i don't know what they're gonna do but i'm just excited <laughs> um and then also love the phone call uh, between B2B and Stray Kids. Like, Chang Sum is such a troll. Like, I love him. I always, I also love how they uh, showed us each member practicing individually. Um, that shows me that every member has a say in this performance and everyone is really working on their own craft. 
um, of some sort and it makes this performance like even more perfect because um, we get to see like how Min Hyuk practices the dance, we get to see what Chang Sub wants to do, what Pin wants to do, and then we get to see An Kwang in his element, you know, um, making the song into more of a B2B vibe song. So I really love that. And y'all, I absolutely adored B2B's performance. Like, I absolutely adored it. I love that they took inspiration from Mamamoo's performance in Queendom. Like, where they all showed their own, uh, their own uniqueness. And that's exactly what B2B did. Um, but yeah, I love the theme that they came up with. Like, using the backstage. And then each of them having their own dressing room. And showing their own style. It definitely stood out from... The other performances, um, the vocals were on point, like always. And this time, we got to see Min Huck and Peniel rap, like both rapping. So I really liked that. Um, I loved how at the end, they came out onto the stage and there was a crowd waiting for them and they danced y'all they danced like we got to see them dance and they made it so lively um my favorite part of course was when min hyuk like we all know my favorite part was when min hyuk ripped his shirt open oh my gosh like i'm pretty sure that's everybody's favorite part you know, we know that Min Hyuk has the body and yeah, he just showed it off. Everybody was going crazy. Like, all the other groups were like, oh, whoa, yep. That's Min Hyuk, heck yeah. But yes, his body was amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, my mouth dropped when that happened too. I was uh, very happy with that move. <laughs> and then I also loved that Stray Kids were on their feet, like during the, um whole performance like they were vibing along and i love like i loved it they were like showing their support from the back um uh, backstage and it was great like yeah but overall uh, amazing stage presence and amazing performance from b2b like y'all killed it and of course i knew y'all were going to vocal kings performance kings great job y'all killed it all right, last but certainly not least, we have Stray Kids. And they chose the amazing, amazing B2B song, I'll Be Your Man. I'll be your man. Sorry. I, like, on it. Okay, guys. I love this song. Okay, so, again, I'm so curious. I was so curious to see what they will do with it. Like, like it's such a so amazing song on its own you know and i was kind of really just hoping that you know they didn't do much to it because <sighs> i'll be your man it's such a, a classic for b2b it's such it's an iconic song so i was just kind of like mm, um i'm not sure what they're gonna do but you know i was like i believe that you know they will do this song justice it's stray kids y'all they would do this song justice um and you know we got to see the three rachas um uh, do their work do their magic and see how they arrange the song and if i will love it as much as i love the original um they showed us a little bit of some members making rings um and imprinting the word stay on it too uh which i feel like it's so cute like stay is of course like if you guys don't know it's the fan club of stray kids and i just love that they thought that uh i love the thought that went into um this performance like um how they incorporated the feelings and for their fans their families and each other in this song like um like you know I just think that the rings were so cute and each one of them having it and kind of just, you know, having it on their hand and kind of saying like, you know, they have their fans with them always. Um, and then just the meaning behind the song, why they chose it. Um, it was for their family, their fans and each other. So it was really great to hear that. Um, and y'all... All I gotta say is 
they killed it with the vocals on this one like whew, they took on the challenge of singing this song in the original key y'all the original key it's a high key song and so i give them so much prop for keeping the original key um i really really enjoyed this performance as well because um you know i just i felt like the vocal line wasn't getting enough enough for like enough parts in the other performances for stray kids and you know we wanted i wanted the vocal line to shine a little bit more and this was the opportunity for the vocal line to shine and you know b2b even said that it was a very hard song to sing so yeah giving them props for doing it in the original key <laughs> The storyline was great as well, although it did take me like a second to get it. Uh, it was good. Like, I love the scenes of where Changbin was rapping and then he fell backwards and then like they cut to Wu Young from ATs and then like he goes, hey, that's my friend. <laughs> Again, love the bromance that they showed of Wu Young and Changbin. And then, y'all, can we just like take a minute and appreciate han Woo! like oh my goodness han stood out like he is such an all-rounder idol like who can sing dance rap oh my god he definitely stood out so much this performance was perfection from han for me for me like um my favorite part would actually be when felix was <laughs> literally being dragged on the floor and then he goes like Cause all I hear from you are cries. Oh my gosh, when he whispered that all I hear from you are cries. Oh my gosh, chills, chills, goosebumps. Oh my god, you know Felix has a beautiful voice, beautiful low voice. Like y'all, we already know how I feel about deep voices and Felix. Ooh, yes. And I also just want to talk about after the performance as well like when Ian was so disappointed that he didn't hit the high note um and you know now i saw the mistake too like you know because like other performances i didn't see the mistake but this one i was able to point out and he blamed it so much on himself and i just felt so bad like when he was talking about his mistake and started tearing up because he is the maknae and you know he did work so hard for that moment so like i started to tear too because i know that you know i know that he felt a lot of pressure and he did like he worked so hard for it um but you know it's okay i am like you know it's okay like you have so many more chances you are still young you'll do great like it's fine and i'm glad that bong chan was there to comfort him and tell him that you know it was okay and bong chan was looking at ayan so like so lovingly and it was such a nice scene to see and like i just i could really tell that stray kids really love Ian and they were like looking out for him they're just like you know Ian did great like you know everyone did great you know but like you know overall I think that Stray Kids did a great job and you know I'm so happy that they keep challenging themselves to be even better so great job Stray Kids fighting all right and now for the ranking of round two all right y'all so let me just be very honest okay i had such a hard time deciding my own ranking okay like i was stuck for a while but i like finally was able to rank it but yeah i'm just like it was so hard it was so hard for me it was so difficult because there was so many good so many good performances for this round and like I just uh, just know that this is specifically my opinion okay and like if you may not just you may not agree with it but it's my opinion but it was so hard for me to choose my ranking okay uh, but you know what first let's just start off with like the show's ranking okay um, again so the ranking for uh, round two um, 
in this episode is from the expert evaluation and the group evaluation. There's still the global evaluation, but this is just expert and group. All right, so again, it can change after global evaluation. We've seen how big of a difference the global evaluation made for the last round ranking, but this one is just for the expert in the group. So again, we're always gonna go from six to first. So with the uh, two evaluations that we already have, uh, sixth place was The Voice, fifth place was Stray Kids, Fourth was Icon, third was B2B, second was SF9, and first was ATs. All right. Now, whew, my ranking. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Again, it was really hard to decide. Okay. All right. Whew. Sixth place. Sixth place, I put Stray Kids. And then fifth place, I put the boys. And I'm going to kind of just talk why I put Stray Kids at six and the boys at fifth. All right. So I just felt like the performances were great, but I felt like they could have done a lot better. And I felt like there was so much potential to do more with both of their performances. And the reason why I put Stray Kids below the boys is because I was able to see the mistake that I had made. And like, again, like, you know, like, I wasn't able to see any other mistakes that the other groups made in the past. But this one was very, like, clear. So that's why I put Stray Kids at 6. Don't cover me, Stays. Don't cover me, Stays. But, like... That's why I put Stray Kids at 6 and the boys at 5th. I also felt like, also the meal, I felt like the boys, um, they could have done a lot more too. So, that's why, like, overall, I think that their performances was not as strong as the others. So, that's why they are in 5th and 6th. Alright. 4th place, I put B2B. And 3rd place, I put Icon. All right, I think B2B, um, again, their performance stood out for me from all the other groups. Of course, they are totally different from the other groups. They know what uniqueness they bring, um, but I just felt like the three on top of their, up top, the three groups that I ranked up above them, their performance was just stronger. And I put Icon at third because, y'all, the slow motion part just killed me. Like, that, every time I think about round two, I go to that slow motion part of Icon. I think that that was just such a killing part, and like, I can't. Like, the groups, the three groups below them, <laughs> were ranked down below because of that killing part and then the two above their performances were just a little bit stronger and had more memorable uh scenes all right so that's why icon is ranked at third all right second place second place i put 80s in first place i put sf9 yes i put sf9 at first place all right now Hear me out, okay? I put SF9 at first place because I could remember so many more scenes from SF9's performance. And again, like, this was the breakout performance that I wanted from SF9. So that's why I was just like, whew, I was just like, yes, SF9, you're gonna be in first place for my ranking. But 80s is great as well, too. Like, 80s, they kept it. At, you know their level they were like you know we're gonna bring even more and they brought even more and you know the show's ranking they had first you know but my ranking I'm just gonna give them a second because as of nine uh, performance was just more memorable for me like I was a I'm definitely able to remember more of sf nines performance than 80s but again I love I love all the groups equally y'all I love all the groups equally okay you know I'm a multi fandom fan okay but yeah um, so that is my ranking and I hope that 
you guys understand why I did that with my ranking. And yeah, hopefully you guys can let me know as well what your ranking is. I mean, again, um, this is just one person's opinion, my opinion. <laughs> But also remember that there is still the global evaluation, okay? So that can change a lot of things around. So we'll have to wait for the official ranking from round two. And yeah, hope you guys continue to watch my videos. And again, if you are not subscribed, please like and subscribe down below. That is all I have for this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.